Welcome to part two, unexpectedly. I don't know if you'll see part one or not, maybe you will. Anyway, I did this, this was a dry canvas and I've just added some abalone. Because after part one I let it sit for a long time. And I wanted to show you what I did. The sky. That's not cool. This is pink diamond, that was abalone. I'm going to grab a little bit of this Cosmos. I was just trying to lighten up some of the dark areas. And I have a little bit of carnation. It's not really as scary as it looks. Although it might be right now because of that dribble. Going both directions. I don't think the abalone is going to affect the purple too much. And I don't want to do too much because it was just beginning to get sticky. So what I want to do is put it, make this into a scape. Which for me means I want to lighten that up. One more, one more try. Get rid of some of the greenish. And I've got some sour lemon with orange crush in it. And anytime I have too much paint on my spatula I can always move it to another part of the painting and use, utilize it. That was the pink, t the tango pink, which is a frosted sorbet. Which I want a little more of. And I've got a little bit of this hydrangea, which is a primary element, as was the sorbet, the frosted sorbet hydrangea. Try and get rid of the rest of my paint off my spatula by using it. Oh, I see a cat hair. My cat got into my studio the other day. Not 100% sure what this is going to look like when it dries, but I'm pretty sure it's still going to be pretty. And all of that paint off that spatula right down there. All right, so I was contemplating what to do and I've got some primary elements, green tea, I've got a mixture of wintergreen, royal sapphire, and midnight shadow, got fandango, the green tea is a primary element, the others are prism pores, and this is deep amethyst with some pink diamond and Chantilly lace. I had these things kicking around. There's a new crescent pour called Emperor's Gold. I thought I shook it up, but I want to make sure after the last little incident. All right, so I could probably put a little pink in there because I'm perverse like that and use my spatula. I haven't done this before and I want to try it. My intention was originally to um, make it look like a, a body of water and the sky was reflecting down in there. And to swipe this. And I have tools ready to swipe. It just depends on whether I really still want to do that or not. Move that over the edge. Put a little bit of the purple and the Pebio iridescent blue green. Those are both, they both have cell activator Australian Floetrol on them. I 
kind of wanted to put some trees in too. It's not a whole lot of paint to be attempting to to swipe through, which could be a problem. I'm I'm noticing. I do have a long skinny. I had a, yeah I do. I have a long skinny acetate tool, which I'm inclined to take some of. I really want some gold. You know that I have gold. Cell activator. But I'm liking what this end is looking like so far. So it's not going to hurt my feelings to continue on. Just sort of undulating a little bit. Squish it up a little bit. Make some more interesting shapes. No idea if I'm going to get cells or not. The paint is pretty thick. <laughs> Go back to my little swipe card. I think if I wanted to put trees in, I would probably put, try to put them in the foreground in front of those mountains, but I don't know how I would do that at this point. I am just going to continue to use the paint in the dish. And I'm not seeing any cells, but it doesn't mean that they won't appear because Australian Floetrol is sometimes slow to react. Sometimes it's fast too, like most of the time. So that's why it's interesting to, to second guess whether you're going to wait or not. I kind of want more. pull it down. I might choose to bounce my spatula in there or just run this back and forth. Break up those hard lines I just put in swiping. Why don't I put a little something in the foreground? Because I can. I think I'm going to do the spatula thing. Still a little paint, my usual MO. Make it look like a reflection too. That's kind of neat. So that is what it is. That stripe's got to go though. It's probably the most interesting thing about it. I'm going to have to color the bottom, but I can easily go back and use the colors that I had already to fill in. And it can definitely use up the purple cell activator that was that would have got dried and gone to waste. So let's see what I can do with a little black. Just a few trees maybe. Let's use my dish and a skewer. 
hopefully has a good point on it. So one blob up from the base. I've got a straggler on the tip of that. Kind of like that, actually, a lot. So get rid of the excess paint on your tip by going up instead of down. And then just sort of dab at it. I like that a lot. I want to put some more in the foreground, but I don't dare because the paint is so wet. Maybe I can dabble at it. The more shaggy or the more organic they look, the more natural they look. As far as I'm concerned, anyway. That's pretty cool. Maybe a couple more. I don't know how the ones... So I'm just stacking dots and then using the little puddles. Pushing from side to side. That's pretty cute. I like it. If it wasn't red, it would be Northern Lights. But it is red, so it's just a heck of a sunset. I like tall, skinny evergreens. It's a pretty extreme landscape, really. It's all about the sky. And maybe the lake. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six over here. Need some in the background. Make a little forest, I guess. And call it good. Did I set my timer? <laughs> I actually have two minutes left. Sort of feel like putting some reflections in the water down there as if you could. I can't do it over here. But it certainly can add a couple more trees. A couple few anyway. Pretty shocking sky, truth be told. Oh, I started one and didn't finish it. There we go. I think that's good enough. She said that, but you can't trust me. I'm always, always wanting to do something else. In this case, I'll be wanting to cover my edge. There it is. A fairly simple concept. Sort of, kind of. So I'm going to shimmer that at you. Because I can. Same name as my book, next to my other book, called Unlimited Possibilities. I got too many lights on in here. I really, really do. I wonder if I can turn that one out. Anyway, that's going to be pretty. I'm going to try and turn a couple lights out. Like that one and these. Oh yeah, very pretty. I'm 
not sure what that is. This is that the sun. Looks like I have a little tiny, tiny, insignificant sun on the horizon, or just above it. That might be kind of interesting, actually. I think most of these little dashes look like clouds in the sky, no matter what. So we should go down. Right down in there. I wasn't really expecting to do this for the longest time. But I'm not unhappy that I did it. That's kind of bugging me. I don't know if I should put a sun in there or not. I guess it's going to be what it is, the way it is. And I will take a little bit of time and cover the parts of... Yeah, okay. I got one minute left. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching them longer. Thank you for knowing that there's over 2,700 videos on my playlists. And if you ask me, I'll help you out and hook you up. They're all organized by topic and genre and not by the hundred. And if you want to find them yourself, go to my channel. Go to playlists, all playlists, created playlists. My Amazon link is on my link tree along with my website. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, although it's been a while. It's definitely been a minute. Uh, my paint pouring recipes are below the video. My spring clothing is below the video. If you'd like to see something trans translated into clothing at spring or some other products at spring or on Society6 or Le Gallerist, please let me know. I'll be happy to try and add them to fineartamericapixels.com also. Uh, whatever I've forgotten, I'll tell you in another video. Please feel free to ask me questions. No, I love you. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm pretty sure you're probably already gone. But you're not. Oh, you're still here. That's wonderful. What was I going to say? My community board will show you tomorrow's video. I post at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, seven days a week right now. Thank you for the comments and the kind words. Keep my morale boosted. And um, thank you for the PayPal donations. And there's a super thanks under the video. Also, there's a, the availability of a members only library for those of you who want to help join and help support the production of videos that would be joining by being a member <laughs> becoming a member for $9.99 a month you'll see it under the video if you have questions like I said please feel free to ask me whatever I've forgotten you'll see in another video I love you guys take care of each other bye for now Priscilla out